in this video I want to uh, show uh, some issues that I have with uh, this piece of coaxial cable um, this cable is marked sooner Switzerland 50 ohm cable it's supposed to uh, be a good quality cable it's double shielded um, actually it's a kind of a special cable uh, there are two shields with uh, a jacket in the middle and as you can see on the uh, connectors let me get this <clears throat> tweezers uh, so there's the normal normal shield here outside but there's another another shield here inside I have and uh, I have uh, um, opened these connectors uh, once I uh, found that uh, something was wrong. I've opened these connectors and uh, I have found out that uh, this cable is a bit, uh, is a bit uh, a particular, it's a particular coaxial cable. You can see the uh, connectors are also marked sooner okay so the uh, cable it should be this one this is a catalog from uh, uber sooner and um, i have searched through the uh, through this catalog and um, i think i believe that this is the uh, the one is a Low noise, called low, low noise triax cable. Uh, it's 50 ohm, it's 101 picofarad per meter, is uh, the capacity. Max frequency 1 gig, uh, whatever. Um, these are the mechanical uh, characteristics. So we've got the jack, the outside jacket, the number 6. Uh, uh, Five point three, which uh, corresponds. Oh, the only the only thing that doesn't correspond is the color. Here, it looks like there are two types. One is blue, and one is gray. But mine is black. So I'm not sure. Uh, this is seventy five ohm. Uh, this one is fifty ohm but um, it's got uh, only a center conductor, dielectric, then uh, there's a kind of a jacket here, and then there's a the screen and the other jacket. But mine is done like this. There's a double screen separated by a jacket. And that's why, in fact, the, uh, I'm not gonna <clears throat> disinstall the connector now, but uh, the BNC connector, is made for this cable it's got uh, the way to connect this these two jackets okay anyway um, I have some issues with this cable I bought this cable already um, already uh, assembled like this from a, a, a surplus surplus um, shop online I paid like 10 euros for this cable so not much in, in theory if uh, would be good <clears throat> and I show you uh, what's the issue and then uh, we will see I'll show you also some measurement I have taken okay so cable. let's start measuring this uh, little PNC 50 home load um, no matter what frequency I go from the uh, HF up to uh, VHF, I've got a good match. So the load is good, and the uh, MFJ is measuring uh, um, correctly. Now I will take this load and terminate the the cable. Okay, now uh, I have terminated the cable uh, with the 50 ohm load. Okay, 
So now we are measuring the uh, 10 meters, the, this system of the transmission line terminated with the slope. So it should be a match. The uh, source impedance, transmission line impedance, and the termination, it should be all a match. So we should see 50, still 50 ohm uh, everywhere. Uh, but uh, actually, we see something different. 66, uh, 1.3 of SWR, and as I move the frequency, uh, the value changes quite a bit. So now we're going up in frequency, and the uh, <coughs> resistance is going high. See, up, up here we reach 60, 70, basically, and we are at 1.8. And then uh, now the resistance is going down, but we've got a lot of reactants. So SWR is still high, 2.6. Now it's going down, the uh, overall impedance is going down. We've got low resistance, low, lower reactants. Uh, let me change to the next range we go back to four and we take it from there so come mm, coming up again we uh, see that uh, the SWR is going down and we will reach uh, the frequency uh, around 7 max I show you where we've got a good match see here everything is working fine now, uh, continuing on, you get this again. So SWI is going high, change the range here, going back to 10 max, taking it from there. So uh, the resistance, resistive bar is going high again. Here there is uh, no reactants, but the uh, resistive. Uh, module is is higher than 50 ohm hence we've got uh, 1.6 and going higher and higher in frequency see that the SWR is still high and now we start going down again and we go towards a point where we have a, again a good reading a good match which is around here which is uh, basically more or less uh, three times the frequency uh, we had before okay so uh, fairly fairly good match even though it's not 50 home okay anyway and then we go up again uh, here we got another another good point about here and then it get worse and uh, and uh, going up in frequency now, things are getting a bit better. And you will see, as I sweep up to 70 max, there are still these, these oscillations in impedance, but uh, the SWR is not going that high anymore. It's within 1.3, roughly, as you, as you can see. Okay, 1.4 there. Going up another range. Let's see, 1.1, 1.2. I'm just sweeping all around. Manually sweeping. You see, it's a bit better on higher frequency. Uh, and we are now in uh, in the middle of VHF band. Okay, so this is uh, what I have seen with the uh, MFJ antenna analyzer. And then, I uh, put the uh, cable on the uh, Marconi test set with a tracking generator on and I'll show you the results. Okay, now I have connected the short lead of coax cable. Not, not too short actually, but uh, <clears throat> it's quite short. It's just uh, not even one meter, I think. Or it's just one meter. Anyway, this is an RG223. Uh, coax cable okay um, this uh, unit is not uh, very well calibrated so there are some uh, oscillations 
and uh, as far as I can, uh, as far as I know, there's no way to normalize the graph. Anyway, I have put uh, a level of an, an output level of one dB instead of zero because to take account of uh, a little bit of uh, uh, misalignment of this unit. Because this unit, uh, if if you ask zero dBm, I have uh, cross checked and with uh, with with the power meter, um, it uh, gives out uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 dB at the beginning of the lower end of the uh, spectrum and and as uh, you go up in frequency it loses uh, even a bit more going down to minus 1.5, minus 1.7 dB up to 1 gigahertz. So <clears throat> I have put 1 dBm just to take account of this uh, uh, Bit of a difference okay uh, if we go back to uh, the uh, spectrum uh, analyzer okay we have vertically 2 dB per division and I set the reference level at 2 dBm so uh, zero is this second line from the top okay if I put the tracking gen on we sweep and we see that uh, we are around uh, 0 dBm uh, then uh, the signal goes a bit down higher in frequency and by the way we are looking at 260 meg in the middle with 50 meg per division so that means we're looking from uh, 10 meg up to 510 meg okay so this span is 500 megahertz all right so this cable, even though it's not perfect, uh, the uh, the graph, uh, because as I said, because of the uh, uh, Marconi <coughs> test set not being perfect, perfectly aligned. Anyway, this cable uh, is showing this uh, behavior, which is uh, fairly acceptable. Okay. So let's see now the other cable, the the, the one I have the issue issues. Okay, now I uh, <coughs> just realized during the uh, um, working on the footage of the video that I uh, missed uh, one video. I wasn't recording, I thought I was recording, but uh, I was not. So I'm doing this again. Uh, so this is the uh, cable now, it's connected to the, uh, to the test set uh, out from this port into this port with, uh, with the help of the truck engine. We see the response. Uh, sensor frequency is 25 megs and the span is uh, 50 megs because the division is uh, 5 megs per division okay so tracking gen on uh, by the way uh, reference level 0 dB uh, let's put 2 dB per division okay okay I put uh, actually the reference level at at, uh, at at two dB, so we've got the zero here, and let's uh, crack the uh, uh, gen <coughs> frequency on the tracking gen on. I mean, and this is the response I want to show you. To get some markers, uh, we have uh, some uh, repetitive uh, pattern uh, with. Uh, a uh, frequency distance of about seven and a half max, seven point six, something like that. Um, as you can see, the nulls are going <coughs> are lower and lower as we go high in frequency. But still, um, still, instead of seeing uh, zero zero dBm, we have already uh, some attenuation. In the best part, we are looking at 1 dB-ish, and in the nulls, obviously, much more. So if, if you get, for example, here, we have 6.5 dB at 3.6 mx. So, so this should be a fairly flat line 
uh, around zero dBm. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is the response I'm getting. Let's go over now to the rest of uh, the measurements. Okay, now I want to check the um, capacitance, the capacity of this piece of cable. So we <clears throat> are in. Uh, we use. I use this multimeter. And zeroed out. This is the. Uh, I think it's the lowest range. Anyway, this multimeter is not very good. Uh, low, very low capacity, capacitance. But um, it's uh, it's good enough uh, for for this test, for this measurement. Uh, the only thing is with one end, one hand is not, it's not easy. So I'll try. I'll try to show everything. Okay. Uh, so I'm testing uh, on the other end is opened and I'm just checking the uh, capacitance as you can see uh, sorry as you can see down there let me, let me get this on a better view as you can see there that's uh, about uh, uh, 1.08 nanofarads it was wasn't it 1.8 nanofarad 1.08 nanofarads okay let me get this again for you you won't see me taking the measurement the test leads in place but um, you can see the value 1.08 nanofarads that's uh 1080 picofarads, okay. Um, according to this sh uh, sheet, uh, it should be 101 picofarad per meter. So, doing the math, 1080 divided by 101, we get 10.7 meters. Well, in fact, I have measured physically the cable and it's 10.1 meters, okay. It's a bit less, but uh, fairly close, no? I would say. So, um, that is good. Now, uh, I want to check the um, um, impedance of the For the um, impedance calculation, I'm going to use this formula. Uh, so, I will need to measure the inductance and the capacitance of, uh, of the cable. So, let's do that. Uh, let's start with, uh, I mean, uh, I would use the MFJ. Let's start with the inductance. And to measure the inductance, I have to short uh, the end. So uh, bear with me, I will do this off camera because I only have two hands. Okay, so I'm shorting, shorting the uh, other end of the cable and measuring uh, um, conveniently 10 micro Henry, 10.02, okay. I will adjust this for 10, okay. And then we take the measurements of the uh, capacitance. Okay, and this is the uh, capacitance value, 4022 picofarads. So, uh, let's do the formula. So, square root, let me, let me just erase everything. Square root of the inductance, which was 10 micro Henry, so a little bit at minus 6, which is micro, divided by uh, 4022 pico, which is the uh, power of minus 12 okay and then close the parentheses and uh, <clears throat> when I hit equals uh, we'll get the result 49.86 ohm so th this is proving uh, that uh, the cable is in fact 50 ohm okay and I've done this at uh, 4.2 which uh, I, I could actually do it at 3.5 which was a uh, kind of a more critical frequency um, uh, that I've measured before it was um, it was where we had the null more or less I can do it again here let's okay, let here I have 5.07 micro micro Henry and if I open and go to uh, the capacitance I've got 2000 pico okay so 
square root of 5.07 minus 6 divided by 2 pico let's see we've got 50.34 still 50 home so um, that's another pass on this check let me say um, what else I have checked the impedance yeah I have checked the uh, for example I've checked the velocity factor which happens to be 66 so if I go to uh, measure the uh, cable length or distance of fault velocity factor 66 is okay uh, let's go to the first resonance which is about it's about here let's gate that let's go to the then to the uh, second resonance which is about here and we get 33.1 uh, I know the cable is 10.1 uh, meters so 33.1 times so 3048 uh, 10.088 so that's uh, also another match so I don't really get uh, what's the problem with this cable um, all the checks that I can do uh, are good or fine but um, there is some sort of impedance transformation going um, uh, over the frequency so if anyone uh, watching this video have an answer because I'm not an expert uh, would appreciate so thank you and uh, all the best 73 uh, please comment if you know uh, if you have any information okay thank you